Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write three-digit numbers in expanded form. Now when we write a number in expanded form, we show the value of each digit. Expanded form really helps our overall number sense and understanding of numbers. So let's jump into number one where we have 237. Now the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the digits of this number by putting the digits in a place value chart. This is going to help us understand what the digits of this number really mean. So we have a two in the hundreds place, a three in the tens place, and a seven in the ones place. So again, for expanded form, we wanna show the value of each of these digits. And we'll start with our greatest valued digit, so the digit furthest to the left, this two. So that two is in the hundreds place. So it has a value of 200. It's representing two groups of 100, and we can see with our place value blocks right here, we have 100, 200, to give a visual of the value of that digit. So we'll start by writing 200. Again, the value of the two is 200 because that two is in the hundreds place. Plus, let's do the value of the three. So that three is in the tens place. It represents three groups of 10, where we have one, two, three groups of 10 right there, represented by those place value blocks. And the value of that three is going to be 30. So 200 plus 30 plus, next we have the seven. So the value of the seven is seven. That seven represents seven ones. So we'll put a seven here. So to recap, the two has a value of 200 because it's in the hundreds place. The three has a value of 30 because it's in the tens place and the seven has a value of seven because it's in the ones place. So let's go on to number two where we have 518. So we have a five in the hundreds place, a one in the tens, and an eight in the ones. So that five has a value of 500. It represents five groups of 100, which again is 500. So we have 500 plus the value of the one, that one represents one group of 10, which has a value of 10, plus the eight, which represents eight ones, which has a value of eight. So 500 plus 10 plus eight. On to number three, where we have 820. So again, we want to start with the greatest valued digit, so the digit furthest to the left. This eight right here. Now that eight is in the hundreds place. So it represents eight groups of 100, which has a value of 800. So we'll start with 800 and then move to the two, which is in the tens place, representing two groups of 10, which has a value of 20. Now in the ones place, we have a zero. That's a placeholder zero sitting in the ones place. So it does not have a value that we need to represent in our expanded form. So we can skip over the zeros whenever we see a zero and we're putting that number into expanded form. So we would be done with number three, 800 plus 20. We expanded out the value of each digit. Lastly, number four, we have 746. So we'll start with the seven, which is in the hundreds place. So this seven has a value of 700. Then we'll move to the four, which is in the tens place, which has a value of 40. And then lastly, we have the six in the ones place, which has a value of six. So there you have it. There's how you put three digit numbers in expanded form. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.